Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll see what are the different ways of writing a main method in Java class. So as you know, to, to run any Java code on your JVM, we need a main function, right? So this is what we need. We need public static void main and we have to pass our constructor arguments. So one of the way to write a main method is this way. So let me print something here. So let me say, hello. And if I want to run this, I can simply say shift F6. So this is the output here. Okay, that's hello. But is it the only way to write a main method? Can we, can we change the format? Now, uh, one of the way, you know, uh, when you talk about uh, method overloading, what if I change this to integer? So will it work? So there's no error, right? So if you, if you, even if you write integer here, if instead of string, and if you run this, so it will straight away give you an error which simply says does not have a main method. So we cannot change this to integer because the type of main which, which your JVM expect is of type string. How about giving it an object? So if I write with object and run this, again it will give you error. So we can only write here string, right? Uh, now, there's one more way, you know, there's something called as varags. So if you have uh, seen my video on varags, so you might, you might be doing what I mean by that, varags. So instead of writing an uh, array symbol there, we can simply say three dots. Now this three dot defines that this args is an uh, array, okay? So it's not compulsory to have the signature which is string, uh, a square bracket and args. You can also use this signature to run your code and the output is hello. Cool. So this is also work, right? So instead of writing those square brackets, we can write dot, dot, dot. Then uh, we can, you know, this static and this public, both are modifiers. So we can, you know, uh, exchange their positions. So we can actually write static, public, void, main, and then your string arguments. But, you know, a globalized standard says we have to first write public and then we can go for static. But this is, this is also supported. We can So we can go over static, public, void, main. Okay, so we have different ways of writing main methods. So first way is public static void main in which you can pass a string array. The second way is you can pass a variable args. And the third way is you, like, you can write static public. So it's not a great thing to do with Java, but if you know this thing, you know, you can make your, you know, these are the cool tricks of Java what you can uh, doing your college and your class. So that's it from this video and for, for more videos, do subscribe.